Hi friend, this is Summer from the Slow Word Movement uh, and today we're going to be doing a Lectio Divina which just means divine reading based on Psalms 91 um, and before we get started I just want to say welcome to my porch um, that we are on the porch for a reason <laughs> because inside my door is super messy but I still need to spend time to carve away time from all the distraction and the chaos and spend time with the Lord uh, with you as well as with his word uh, one of the words that keeps coming up to me over and over and uh, excuse me while I crisscross applesauce my legs because that's my favorite way to sit but um I just have the sense that the Lord is longing for us to find and to take refuge in Him. Uh, I don't know about you, but I am super distracted these days with social media, with a hundred things to do, uh, with homeschooling, with just busyness in general. Uh, it doesn't help that people can get a hold of me extremely fast, that I get text messages and feel like I have to react right away. Um, but I just sense that the Lord wants us to carve out time to just be still with Him, to find our peace and our rest and our sense of knowing that we are loved in Him. We're going to do our Lectio Divina on Psalm 91, the first couple verses. And first, I just invite you to take a couple deep breaths, really deep breaths. Get fully present in the space where you are. Feel the chair underneath you or the bed, the ground beneath your feet, the air. And as you take a deep breath out, say to your mind, rest. We're going to invite the Holy Spirit now and invite, invoke the presence of the Lord Jesus Christ. We said that he would be present with us always. And honestly, it is one of the most important things in my life. That he is always there, he is always present, that I am never abandoned that we can take hold of his hand and bring him into all the dark corners of our life, all the rooms we go into. But let's open the door and invite him in. Come, Lord Jesus, come. Speak, Lord, for your servant is listening. I'm going to read through the scripture three times and um, the first time you're just going to listen uh, and just um, get comfortable with the words. Uh, the second time you are going to um, listen for a word or phrase that seems to be just for you. And then the third time. Uh, you are going to listen for an invitation of your heart and possibly even get a journal and write that precious seed down uh, because you don't want to lose the words the Lord is sending. 
So if you want to even go put this on pause, go get a journal and come back. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. This time as you listen, I want you to um, just listen for a word or phrase that seems to be just for you. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. He will cover you with his feathers. And under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Allow that word to come up between you and the Lord in his presence and spend time with that word for a moment. One more time, and this time you're going to be listening for an invitation. What is the Lord inviting you to today through these particular words? He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will rest in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. Surely he will save you from the fowler's snare and from the deadly pestilence. 
He will cover you with his feathers and under his wings you will find refuge. His faithfulness will be your shield and rampart. Go ahead and listen for that invitation and sit with it a moment with you and the Lord just between you. I want you to go get uh, go get a journal or at least a three by five card and capture the words that you've heard from the Lord today uh, in Matthew uh, with the parable of the sower it talks about seeds of the word being planted in good soil and um, praying that it won't be snatched away and one way that we can uh, be a part of it not being snatched away is to capture it on paper to keep it with us um, to spend time with it throughout the day uh, so I just invite you to spend time either in a conversation with the Lord in your journal or in a 3 by 5 card um, just to capture those words let me pray for you Lord, I thank you for the word that's been planted. I thank you that you are good, that you love to speak to your children. We need your word in a world full of noise. We need the truth and goodness of your character as you've shown us through your word. Teach us. Break it open even farther to us today. Plant it deeper within us today, we pray in Jesus Christ's name. Amen. Goodbye, friends. Have a great day.